it's that time again. It's Gun Fox's Gorilla Education. This time, we're going to be teaching you not about Harambe, Gorilla. We're going to be teaching you about the uh, Nurgling 2.0 automation driven client. If you've ever heard of people talking about bots or um, hacks, or it's not really a hack, it's just uh, automating your uh, gameplay experience and turning your MMO into an RTS. So if that's something that would interest you, such as like automating, cutting trees, uh, digging up clay, moving logs and other things, automatically building um, containers or fishing or a number of things. But we're just going to start off with some simple things today here. So we'll go ahead and go to the workshop or to the wizard's tower on uh, the Haven Hearth website on the forums. Um, so once you're in workshop, you'll scroll to the right here. You'll see Nerdling 2.0 at the very top. Go ahead and just click that. And you'll want to subscribe. I would give them a favorite and a like, but hey, that's just me. Um, and you're really just going to be looking for this right here, this uh, zip file to his uh, GitHub. Go ahead and download that. And you're going to want to extract that to a folder and then run the uh, run underscore updater batch file. If you get a warning about it, click more info and then click go ahead and allow. Um, once your uh, client is up to date, it will launch your Haven and Hearth. Go ahead and log in there as normal. Then when you get to your game, it should be looking something like this. Um, basically, if it's not, you're going to want to look for your options. It will usually look something like the normal screen. Your inventory looks like the bag. Equipment looks like the plate mail, etc. Um, but so go to interface options and go to drag mode. And then that's going to let you move around all these different uh, HUD elements. Um, you're going to want to uh, set that to something that's comfortable for you. I just have my uh, minimap and everything turned off for right now. Um, but you can, you know, set that up however you'd like. Once everything's moved around, grab, drag. You can click the, uh, the eyeball right there to turn things on and off, like your chat or, you know, the spot menu. The bots menu is where we're going to find what we are doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And now you should see something pretty much like uh, normal Haven and Hearth for you. Um, at that point, just go back here. You'll see something on the left of the screen here. We're going to go to the very top row. This is just the simple stuff I'm going to show for today. Let's close out of this. But to open this up, and let's go ahead and do the chopper bot. This one's going to cut down trees, uproot stumps, etc. Clear cut stuff for village prep, basically. So. When we get started here, it's going to say, oh, well, it will do stuff from a water container. So we want it to auto refill from a water container. We want to eat from our inventory. Um, let's go ahead and not ignore the growth and let's put on uproot stumps. You're going to want to select the type of tool that you have for each thing. For me, I've got a stone axe on my little alt here and it looks like a wooden shovel. So once you've got your tool selected, we're also going to uh, need to set the area which if you uh, press control L like Lima, that will pull that up or you can just click it next to your character sheet. This is gonna pull up this menu. So basically here, I'm just gonna show you the basic premise of this. We're just gonna set up an area, let's call it water. So create new. Make sure it's got your barrel of water in it. Okay, now that's got new name. And then we'll click plus on the specialization here. Scroll all the way down, go to source of water, left click. Once that's set, we'll go ahead and right click on water boy again, and we'll go select area space. There you go. Now you see how the uh, little droplet of water showed up. That means that the bot knows that's where it has to go to refill its water. And you will need a water skin in your belt to be able to do this. Um, so now that that's set, we'll close out of that, close out of my inventory, or move it out of the way at least, and then let's pick the area that we want to work in. So let's get a pretty big area, just to show, click start, and then just drag a box. Let's just do it like right here, and we'll get this all cleared. And just once you let go of your left click, it will go ahead and start the automation. Wow. That's so difficult. Um, that's all there is to it. That's the start of the um, chopping bot. 
but I'm gonna let this run for just a second here. So the reason this is so valuable is because you don't just need to do this with one account. I'm only showing you with one account because I'm not gonna multi-box for a video, you know, you can figure that out for yourself. But essentially you will have separate accounts. You will run underscore updater for each different account and log in, you know, change your screen size, whatever you need to do, but you basically will just multi-box like a TQ. Um, that's really all there is to it. It's not too difficult. Um, it will go ahead and work and save you some time. You know, you could be doing other things. You could be eating a sandwich, you know, fixing a friend's computer like I was doing earlier today, whatever it is. Um, but needless to say, it's something that the developers have not put in this game yet um, or have chosen not to include. So because it's available, Oh, look, and now we've run into a problem. So it says equipment not found. So because I've been talking and keying down, it held on to the stone axe. So let's fix that. So we've got the stone axe back in the belt. And so we're going to want to go to that menu again. Click chopper. Okay, we'll click start. Notice that it uprooted that other stump and yeah. So I'll let it finish the second tree here and then I'll show you the uh, block maker bot. And this should also, you know, eat out of my inventory when it gets hungry. Um, you know, go get water and refill it. We'll see. Looks like it works. Switches between the uh, stone axe and the shovel. Probably that extra thing in my uh, belt there was thrown for a loop, but we'll see. It's almost done here. Notice I haven't moved my cursor. I've just been sitting here looking at the screen talking. There you go. Right back to cutting. It's that simple. Okay, now it ran out of water. Oh, look, notice I'm not moving the cursor. That's really nice. If you've never used anything like this, it really speeds up the creation of your base, um, clearing out new forward bases, you know, setting up markets, whatever you're doing. You know, the ne'er-do-wells. <laughs> um, but now that this is about done, I'll have it move all these logs. And this is one of my favorite uses for it. It's just cleaning stuff up. Look at that. It's just so simple. I mean, literally, I could probably teach my mother to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... If you've got, you know, say three or four of these running, what you can do is set them up in relays so that, you know, one one bot will bring logs to a certain area, the other one will chop them into blocks, one will chop them into boards, you know, the other one will, uh, you know, bring them to the next area for staging or whatever. So you can actually have them do a giant, you know, uh, pass the torch, if you will. <laughs> um, but so now we're done here, basically. We're going to want to go back to that uh, top green tree menu. And then we're going to go down to the, uh, well, let's, let's show the block preparation block. So in this, all you do, you just click start. Once you have a tool selected, pick an area with the logs, and then you drag another area where you want the output to go. Fills up till your inventory is full, goes back to chopping. Repeat, you know, ad nauseum. Um, but that's not the only thing you can do with your boards. Like I said, you can do this or <laughs> with your logs. You can do it also to with boards. Um, it's quite late for me. I should have gone to bed, but I figured this would be a fun video. Um, <laughs> and when you want to stop these uh, uh, sort of automation scripts as they're running, you'll see that moving cog there. If you press the red uh, center axle of that, the little button there, that will stop them. Um, and we're going to go ahead and now move this. 
So we'll go to log carrier on the left. Pick an area with the logs. So we'll drag where our four logs are. And then where do we want those? Let's just say, how about over by our water barrel? All right. And then now you can, you know, go do things, make calls, you know, walk into the other room, write an email, you know, whatever you, you plan on doing with yourself, um, you don't have to attend to this. This is uh, true automation and really it, I'm not going to butcher his name. It begins with a K. Um, <laughs> thank you again for making such an awesome custom client. I used uh, Nurgling 1.0 last world and it, it had a little bit of problems. Um, and like I said at the beginning, if you are having constant crashes with your Nurgling, make sure you've got your JDK installed and greater than version 18, I believe it is. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed and uh, learned something here. And see as we're I'm talking here and jacking my jaw, that thing just goes on in the background. So this can really help speed things up. If you learned something, leave a like. Remember to subscribe for more of me. And have a great rest of your day.